<laughs> he's he's trying to figure out his new iPhone where he's like, why can't I just use my little jitterbug flip phone? I don't get it. <laughs> like, it's kind of like that, you know? So he's trying to figure out how to use these, these like sort of holographic in, in interface um, controls, which looks super cool. Very cool. Um, mm-hmm. But he's just not used to it at all. <laughs> It's like, where are the vacuum tubes? <laughs> it's like he, he starts talking to the ship like it's a Siri or Alexa or something. And he's yeah. like, La Serena, how do I fly you? <laughs> where is the cup holder? <laughs> what time does Matlock start? <laughs> Space Matlock. <laughs> space Matlock. Don't get it twisted, Joe. It's Space Matlock. <laughs> Regular Matlock is in the ancient past, but Space Matlock is... I just love putting space in front of stuff, especially for Star Trek stuff, because they don't. And Star Wars, is, Star Wars does it more than they should. Oh, my God. I will just, say... You, you know what does? I, it's oh, sorry. This is a total tangent. It's like a little pet peeve of mine, um, but it's so Star Trekky. I can't not forgive it because it's just it's in every single Star Trek when they when they'll take a thing that we know like pasta or tomatoes and they'll slap an alien name in front of it. Yeah. Oh, would you like these? You know, Fildorian tomatoes I just picked, and it's like. Ah, like you obviously took a cherry tomato and put polka dots on it. Like it doesn't make it different. Like it's such a Star Trek thing to do. I always forgive it, but it does. When I hear it, I'm just like, ah, please. That's so funny. (laughs) Lucas was just lazy and would put, you know, space pork. You know, (laughs) like he put space in front of things. Exactly, space pork. P-O-R-T, port. Oh, port. <laughs> you said space pork. I'm like, does that come from oh, space like, hogs? Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes! Pigs in space! Oh my gosh. I can't believe space. how far I've derailed muffin. you guys. I am so ashamed. No, no, no. It's okay. Don't worry about it. I do it all the time. Let's get back on track. I'm sorry, everybody. Oh, man. Anybody who knows me in real life knows that I do this every day of my life even talking to myself i derail myself uh anyway now um you have to excuse me i'm gonna go draw a pig with a <laughs> space helmet on <laughs> not like not like pigs in space but like a real pig <laughs> okay so I don't know if I said this because we got way off track, but uh, Agnes was the one that said make it so as they blow off because, you know. Yeah, she was like the quip oh. machine in this one. She was saying all the Star Trek Picard uh, catchphrases. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, then we go back to um, to the Synthville <laughs> and Sutra is up in front of everybody. She is explaining uh, this plan about the um, transmitter that they're building. Um, Soji is over behind them. She's doing all this, like, work on this, you know, holographic computer building this thing. Looks like she's dancing at a rave, but, you know. <laughs> she's laying down the beats. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, our uh, Scooby crew comes back up. And they're like, "Oh, hey, we're gonna we're gonna go over here and do this stuff." Well, in order to get them to do whatever they're gonna do, we have um, Soong walk up and he talks to Sutra, and he just has this like pin that he disar- like he just basically shuts her down with. He's like, "What? Did- oh, can't believe you did that!" Zzz. And that's it. I'm like, "It was that easy." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like- on on data you had to find the off switch that was like in his like back or his side or whatever. But on these synths, they're like remote controlled. He just like pushes a button and they're just like they just like power down. And <laughs> um the the rest of the team they they go on with their plan. So we've got like Narek like fighting people and 
Elnor and stuff, and then Rios opens up the soccer ball, and he goes to throw it, and I think that might be later, unless I forgot to write all that down, um, and Soji catches it. So, it like doesn't it blow up. Like to go directly to her. Oh, to her? Oh. <laughs> right? It's like, hey, what's yeah. oh, yeah. the bomb? Like. It flew right at her hand. Yeah, that's what it did look like that, but maybe, you know. <laughs> <laughs> um also, yeah for a robot she, a she held a thing for way too long before figuring out hey this is a bomb uh, yeah i know <laughs> it was I, also i i have to say like if these synths have the same strength as data i mean how strong is elnor he was like elbowing these synths and they were he was like mowing them down no those synths like, should have been punching choo, holes choo. through people but from, right? <laughs> if if they have the same strength as data, we saw data lift living people that weighed like 200 plus pounds off the ground, hold them in the air and then throw them like these sims shouldn't be taken down t- with an elbow to the face like they should. Uh, Maybe <laughs> the Romulan since, uh, center of gravity is a little different and Elnor's got a nice. um leverage he knows how to work with that maybe he's just maybe. using physics maybe. in his, up his corner you know uh, unless these synths don't have data strength unless they may not. They, I, if yeah they may not have i mean that's you know they, true. And, yeah, they may not well no i was gonna say they may not be downloaded to be able to like fight like soji and dodge did but they were also sent off to other places so they might have been downloaded with you know how to fight their way out of things because because they were going off somewhere else but maybe because they live in this utopia they don't have to have you know super strength and stuff yeah maybe when they were made they just had the you know the reduced strength levels like you know we we kind of see later on that that some of these androids can have Mm -hmm. well then too like um they if Vulcans and Romulans do have superhuman strength, like Vulcans are two to three times stronger than humans. Um, Romulans, I believe have that same strength capacity also mm-hmm. too, like just from a, another thing that is possible just from a practical point of view, if I'm the only organic being on this planet with a bunch of synths who could theoretically punch a hole in my chest mm-hmm. with their pinky finger do i mm-hmm. really want to be at that kind of disadvantage or you know uh would i let them all have superhuman strength and me just sort of be regular strength human maybe it was a fail safe yeah to make sure that no one synth plus that that like remote control off button that 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 could those could all be fail safes to make sure that like the synths aren't you know snapping my neck every ten minutes you know <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> although you know once would do it, but you know <laughs> right <laughs> uh, anyway, so we go back to the ship. We are in space. Picard is flying it. Girardi keeps asking him questions about his plan. Uh, and he's basically saying, uh, I haven't flown a starship in a long time. Uh, I'm trying not to kill us. <laughs> and she's like, okay, that's 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 probably a good reason you didn't answer me. <laughs> Which I agree with her. <laughs> well, and then she drops the one impossible task at a timeline. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> She, she does have all the lines. See? Um, <laughs> um, uh, we go back and we see the the crew fighting the synths and all that, and that's where the Rios throws the bomb, and then Soji catches it, and then she th- Narek's like, "Please don't," you know. He and of course she doesn't care because he was terrible to her, and so she tosses it in the air, it explodes, and she goes back to her business. Um, the Superman throw is very nice. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah, yeah. very just, Superman. Just, like, well. it right, like straight into the air. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know Soji was a first round draft pick? Oh, okay. <laughs> it's a false memory, but it's one of her better ones. <laughs> That's a great joke, Joe. I like I that one. It's a false memory. Yes. Um. <laughs> 
from the guy that does not watch sports. That's what makes that joke even funnier. <laughs> It's not well, like anybody. You, you can pick right that apart anyway. pretty quick. She's a first round draft pick and what? I mean, I'm throwing things in the air. And what? Don't <laughs> question me. <laughs> it's just not football. I don't know. Draft pick and throwing bombs and stuff. <laughs> it's a real it's sport. Come on. Twelve. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It's on ESPN 8, the Ocho. <laughs> <laughs> the Ocho. <laughs> Next on the Ocho, bomb throwing. <laughs> right after kickball. <laughs> dodgeball, excuse me. <laughs> dodgeball? Do- oh, dodgeball, yes. That's fantastic. <laughs> it's a very. Brooke, you win. That's it. Best choke ever. Good night, everybody. We can't get any better than that. <laughs> Oh, oh man! <laughs> I better quit by my head then. <laughs> That's our show. We're, we're going out on top. <laughs> you watch. You must have watched this, so you know what happens. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so um, then we go back to the board cube, and I like that I put the wrong. Oh, no, I know what I was trying to say in this sentence. Um, Nerissa sets the Borg Cube's weapon so that she could take down the La Serena because she sees that it's it's uh, leaving. Uh, Seven shows up, and then they have a fight, and that's exciting. Um, you know, uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, they sort of talk to each other a little bit, and then they fight some more later. Those are really uh, cool scene. Yeah. I don't know if we want to finish talking about them fighting because that's basically all it was right here is them fighting right now, but um, we can just go on. Oh. Uh, the, the scene with with uh, Nerissa and um, Seven fighting? Yes, because it's like cut in half. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. They continue fighting and... Um... <laughs> well, I, I do want to talk about this one quick line that um, Nerissa says to her where she says, Something like poor little Annika, all she got for her sixth birthday was assimilated. Right. Oh. Yep, she said that here in this part. I was like, oh, she's a she 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 calls her sad queen Annika. Mm-hmm. Um, all she got for her birthday was assimilated, and I was like, damn, that is so cold. Extreme. That is so freaking cold. Right, um, but then you know they're fighting. When it goes back to them and they're fighting some more, uh, Nerissa's like, "Oh, you're kind of pretty. Too bad you're not half. Too bad you're a half warm. meat." Says, yes, <laughs> yeah. I couldn't remember what she called. Me. Um, you know, and it's like, man, Nerissa is just hitting on everybody. <laughs> I mean, I don't blame her, but. Uh, <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of a lot of people used to get hit on in this show, um, but you know they're fighting, and Seven kicks her off a platform where there aren't any handrails, like I said before. And she's like, "This is for you," mm-hmm. and um, you know I cheer because yeah, she she falls down Emperor Palpatine style, totally. You know, right? I mean, that's <laughs> it's what it reminds uh, me of. You know, we're gonna see her again in 20 years, I guess. Uh, <laughs> Spoilers! <laughs> no, at this point, if you haven't seen the Rise of Skywalker, I don't even know what to tell you. <laughs> I even just heard his voice in the trailer. You know, that's true. Good point. Good point. Um, but it, with that scene was cut up with the Romulans showing up. We see oh, like I said, I can't remember what it. The coast caption said her Romulan name is, but um, she is a general. We find out because someone calls her general, and she orders the sterilization of the entire planet. So, there's so many scenes, like, <laughs> from here on out with O, where it's just with her saying something that's, like, really metal. And then this one, she's like, sterilize the entire planet. <laughs> that's why she's got on that leather outfit. <laughs> Every yeah. time she did this, I pictured, like, a laugh He's track in the background with somebody going, oh, oh. <laughs> there are so many oh oh moments yet to come. Uh, 
That's hilarious. Oh, <laughs> 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 so silly. Like all. Of-